Okay, so the, the book for the book club today is, um, is The One Thing. Okay, The One Thing. Fab, did you, were you able to read this one? Uh, yes, yes I did. Okay, good. <laughs> that one. Good, you got your copy right there, excellent. Okay, um, all right, so we have kind of the discussion here on The One Thing. Um, I have a bit of an outline. This, this discussion right here today is not about um, me correcting you on your English or your pronunciation. It's just a matter of um, practicing your English and getting some discussion going here. Um, so hopefully is, this is this a stage when you say like this is, is not a feedback, yeah? No, it's not. No, That's not this one. Meant. What's that? I just want to how to use the feedback. You're not giving feedback. That oh, not, today. yeah, not today, but on Tuesdays and Wednesdays, we have study groups um, that we give feedback. And then Thursdays, I either do a study group where I do feedback or on the days that I'm doing a book club meeting, I'll do that as well. So just uh, on the website under, under the calendar, you'll either see study group, book club meeting or sometimes there's a special topic webinar so um do I, it, do I need the facebook no no well okay. i either email or post it on the website everything that i uh, you know any announcements that are on the um are on the um facebook page so you're fine okay so if you the study groups are for feedback so this one is just about um discussing um, discussing this book, The One Thing. So we're going to go ahead and get started with this. Um, and one, one thing that I wanted to kind of start off with, and this is a picture of, so I have, I have my husband and I have four little boys in my family, okay? So um, I have, my <laughs> oldest is nine, and then I have a seven-year-old, and I have a four-year-old, and that's, those three are here in this picture. And then I have a 10 month old. So I was with the 10 month old on the side of the river here, just playing. And we took them to the river. Um, it was a hot day and we decided to go have some fun. So we went to this river and um, they were playing. And one thing that as I was sitting there, they were, they were um, trying to walk against the current of the river, okay? And so my, my husband was there with my kids and they were trying to walk up river and my husband was showing them how strong the river was and um and they were wanting to kind of go up the river a little bit and um and float down um float down a bit and just kind of having fun with it and as i was sitting here this is while i was reading this book the one thing um i i had kind of had this idea in my head as to and as I was sitting here at the river, I got thinking about how life's currents just want to wash us away and what they, you know, what, what the current wants for us. You know, if we just give in to whatever life throws at us and what life is kind of dictating for us, then we're going to just kind of float down the river mindlessly and may get bumps and bruises, hit against rocks and trees and all these things along the way. Um, and if we're not purposeful in the way that we are thinking and um, being proactive about life, that's what tends to happen, right? Is that we just kind of get, we drift along with whatever everyone else is wanting us to do. But it takes a, a strong amount of effort to stand up and go against the current and go and do what we want to do. And, um, and be purposeful about um, the way that we're living our life. And in so doing, we're, we have to stand up, we have to take those steps forward, and it really builds, it's, it's difficult, and it builds strength, and it build, builds stamina as we resist the currents of life. Um, but that's really, to me, as I was thinking about this, this is what this book is about, is deciding for ourselves what direction we want to go in our life instead of just going with the current and going with what the world and what everyone else is wanting us to do and standing up and saying, this is what I want for my life and this is, these are the steps I'm going to take to get there. I, I found the, the hardest thing is to get rid of the bad habits. 
that yes. is very difficult. Yes, I absolutely. Like you live in one way and then all of a sudden we have to change like the language. My, my whole life I speak my language, Portuguese. Now I have to carry out my, uh, my old language to the new language, the same yep. instruction. It's hard to change. Yep. So what you're doing right now and what all of you guys are doing through the Pronunciation Pro course is you're standing up and saying, no, I'm not just going to go with what, you know, I, I want to be purposeful about the way that I speak and the message that I'm, that I'm giving. And, um, and so you're standing up and saying, these are the steps I need to take. And you're resisting, you're having to fight against what the natural, what your mouth is naturally want to, wanting to do and fighting against that to create a new habit. You're right. Okay, who wants to read this? Um, I like it. I want to read it. I want to read it. Can I? Oh, here. Hold okay, on. Hold on. Who, is, uh, who else is here? Here. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Tell me your name. Oh, so it's Rodwan, right? Oh, let me read one yeah, yeah. time. All right. Rod, guys, Rodwan is here. Good. And uh, Carmen, yeah. is your microphone working yet? Oh, darn. I'm oh, not I'm hearing. Not from Carmen yet. Really? You don't hear it yet? Oh, I like it. Not from Carmen. Here. Listen, can I read one time? Because <laughs> I want to see my pronunciation, how it sounds. Okay, Sylvia, I'm gonna let you I'm gonna let you read this, but we're not doing feedback on pronunciation. We're talking about the book today. So um okay. so let's go ahead and read that. Um, but I but we won't be talking about pronunciation today. Okay. One step at a, at a time, maybe try it, no, try it, but it is still true. No matter the ob objective, no matter the distinct the destination, the journey, journey, journey to yeah. anything you want, no, all I start with a single step. That step is called the one thing. All right. Mm -hmm. All right, excellent. So like we were saying, one step at a time, and if there's any kind of background noise that you're seeing, have in your environment, you might mute your own, you might mute your own uh, microphone there. Okay. All right. So one step at a time. It's all about one step at a time. And uh, that one step is the one thing that we're talking about today. All right. Good. Okay. In the book, they were talking about the six lies. All right, there's some background noise for someone. Is that, if, uh, if that's you that has the background noise, you might mute your. All right. All right, so we. Hold on, sorry. We've got to figure out how to. Okay, so the six lies. Someone who has a... <laughs> Sorry, we want this to be a good experience for everyone. We just need to make sure that the, the background noise is not there. All right, so the six lies, six lies. Do you, in the book, we talk, they talk about six lies. So the six lies are everything matters equally. Two is multitasking. Three is the dis disciplined life. Four, willpower is always on will call. Five, the balanced life. And six is big is bad. So we, we're going to go through each one of these just a little bit and talk a little bit about each one of these uh, kind of six lies that are, that are talked about in the book. Um, now, now, with the everything matters equally, who can kind of tell us and give a summary about, about this part from someone who has read the book? Bab, you, can you uh, give us an idea of kind of this everything equals matters equally do you yes. remember this Pareto's principle can you hear me clearly about that one not not as much not as 
I, I, I talk yeah, about it's hard. Another one. It, it's a hard Can one to, yeah. Yeah, that one. So let me, let me kind of give an idea with the Pareto's principle. It's 80% of your results come from 20% of your actions. So you're basically saying, you know, you have all these things coming at you during the day, but not all of them are equally important. We have to decide which, which things are we need to spend our, our, the majority of our time on. Have you ever heard of this Pareto's principle? The 80-20 rule is kind of what... Yes, now, uh, now I remember what it's about. Like if yeah. you do 20% actions mm -hmm. and they're the right actions, they mm -hmm. actually lead us to success. Uh -huh. Even if we don't do everything, we don't necessarily need to get to do everything. But if it, they are the one thing, mm -hmm. we can achieve success. Mm -hmm. Am I right? Yeah. Okay. So yeah, we don't, we need to focus on the things that are going to give us the, the biggest bang for our buck or the biggest results um, for our effort. Exactly. Okay. So as we are uh, going through right here. Mm -hmm. So um, Rodwan, you want to read, read for yeah. us here? <laughs> do, do you want to have to bring them? And yeah, pass it on over. Here we go. <laughs> Let's share. <laughs> Guys, hi. Hello. I'm really glad I'm here. I, you know, I, 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 I run a busy life, so I, mm -hmm. I, I, uh, I've, I've loved this idea, reading the book to, uh, to the book group. And mm -hmm. reading through this book, it Good. really helped me to, you know, to, uh, to uh, prioritize my schedule and every day, what I'm I'm gonna do first thing, first thing come first, and Good. what equals the most. So it really helped. Uh, even though I'm not finished yet with with the, with the whole book, mm -hmm. but I feel that this, this kind of a book that I want to read from uh, beginning to the end. So yeah. I hope I can give some extra hours this week to finish it. Perfect. So the six, everything matters equally. To do mm -hmm. lists tend to be long. Success lists are short. Uh, one pulls you in all directions, the other aims you in a specific direction. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Okay, so what, what are your kind of thoughts on that as far as the long to-do list and the short success list? As you've been reading the book, do you feel like that, that focus has kind of come into play in your own life as far as narrowing it down to like what, what matters most? Yes, yes. Actually, yeah. the, the, this depends mainly on the, in the, in the idea that if you do the thing that matters the most, mm -hmm. everything will fall in place. Mm -hmm. So everything else does not matter. It will just fall in its place or you can do it some other time later on. Mm -hmm. uh, but it, it matters really if you miss the core of the thing, the, the core of your idea, the core of the work you're doing, whatever you're trying to do. Then you're gonna be uh, doing the, the the pretty things out there in the periphery won't help at all. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Just like if if you're talking about marriage, it, it, uh, the th the first thing you need to have is commitment <laughs> to build a life. <laughs> <for> a <while. laughs> Otherwise, the other minor things it will come on. Just like <laughs> if you have good commitment in your life, <laughs> other things will come on. Yeah. So it's good. 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 I love it. Yeah. And, and, and that's the fun thing about this uh, book is that you can, you can, there's different sections of your life that you can look at it and say, okay, what's the one thing in marriage that's going to make the biggest difference? I had a hard time kind of remembering the focus question, kind of what's the one thing that you can do such that will make everything easier or fall out of your life, right? Yeah, here, here's my nephew. Oh, Muhammad. hello. <laughs> Good hello. to have you. <laughs> He's trying Good. hard to learn English. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> good, I'm glad. So it's, well, it's great. I, I believe that uh, you don't need to memorize the leading questions. They're just kind of examples. Yeah. Um, you can come up with your own. Mm -hmm. And uh, once you answer the, the, the one, only one question, that's saying what matters the most and what the thing that really, if you do, it will be the easiest and the, the simplest 
for everything, the simple and easy thing to do that will change everything. If you answer this one question in mm -hmm. any part of your life, that will help you pre prioritize your uh, pl planning. Yeah, like mm -hmm. you, you would know what, what you're going to do next. Right. Okay, and so the, the focusing question that we're talking about is this kind of what's the one thing I can do such that by doing everything else will be easier or unnecessary? Mm -hmm. Easier or unnecessary, yep. Easier or unnecessary. And I actually yeah. had, when I first yeah. saw, heard this question, I had kind of a resistance to the idea of easier because, you know, I, I resist this idea of, well, I don't necessarily need things to be easier because easy I always you know my mindset is like it's the harder way is always the better way and you know if you just go with the easy way then it's not you know you're not really getting what you really want okay so do you kind of see the the thought pattern here but no. my husband helped me understand that it's not that we're choosing the easy way it's that by doing these one things things it makes other things easier it makes it it makes it easier because you're focused on the right thing. The heart, sometimes it's the harder thing, but it's the right thing. Um, exactly. The one thing that is the most important. Actually, actually it matters. Like, because it's here, like to focus on doing something, uh, there's some other rule, I think, in the book coming ahead, mm -hmm. that uh, you have inner energy. And this inner energy yeah. is just like a battery. It starts to uh, fall and it just consumed mm -hmm. with time. So mm -hmm. you need to utilize the time when you have higher energy to mm -hmm. do things that requires higher energy and mm -hmm. to prioritize things upon this idea, you need to know what matters most, mm -hmm. the most. Then you can focus to do this thing, maybe the first thing uh, when you woke up. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. For me, for example, uh, I try to, I, I'm a doctor, I'm trying to train to lose some weight, to be in shape, so it's really hard time for me to keep up because you know after job I feel really tired and I need rest. I need some time for myself. Mm -hmm. So I I don't feel like going to gym. So sometimes it's hard for me. So when I, when I start answering this question, I said okay maybe to prioritize my fitness or just my body care or whatever, uh, I need to do the, the the thing the first thing in the morning. Like I can't jog every mm -hmm. morning. And I'm on it. I'll try to start this uh, from tomorrow, hopefully. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's the that I that concept of the the willpower. So when we're talking about, um, you only have so much energy. So let's talk about that a little bit. They talk about the six live uh, lies. Willpower is always on will call, and they say that here. Let me find juggling. Uh, yeah, you're good with juggling. <laughs> uh, is that we don't yeah. always have, here, I'll just keep it here. Willpower is always on will call. We always, it's not that we have to have all this willpower to, like you were saying, exercise, get up and exercise. What it comes down to is a habit, right? Yep. Is establishing one habit that, it's great. that you the, can the do. Like you need 66 days. That's really interesting. Yeah. It's my yeah, first yeah. time to hear this. 66 days you need to establish a habit mm -hmm. and then all the powers you are trying all the efforts all the w w hard work it will become just easy because it becomes a habit like mm -hmm. you're gonna do it without even any minor effort yeah so go ahead and uh uh someone who's uh sonia will you go ahead and read this for us yeah. um <coughs> about goal setting people do not decide their futures. Mm -hmm. They decide their habits and their habits decide their futures. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay, so people don't decide their futures. They decide their habits and their habits decide their futures. Um, what do you guys think about that? What in terms of your habits and how and how your habits are shaping your future? Me? Yeah, you can you can uh, okay. chime in here, I, Sonia. I have two habits: exercise and English. Okay. So I change uh, most ex most English. I just started on that too. You know? Okay. 
So you're, you're starting this habit of studying your English and doing that consistently enough um, yeah. that, that you can kind of, so then that, that decides your future. So what's, what do you see as kind of the one thing in your future yeah. with the English? Yes. What is it accomplishing for you as a future goal? What does learning English do for you? It makes me follow everything better. News and Facebook and everything is better. I follow it better than speaking English and reading English. Oh, okay. And my sister sees English and she helps me sometimes. Okay. All right. So that's, that's kind of, it's helping you understand the world better. It's helping you get access to more things by under, yeah. by, by getting English. Okay. So that future is going to be changed by this habit that you're establishing right now. Yeah, I understand it better than when I learn English. Okay. Excellent. I love that concept. Um, Oh, sorry. All right. Okay. So that concept of you you have to have a habit. You have to, you know, kind of focus on a one, one habit or one thing that you can establish to be able to get to your greater goal or purpose. So, mm -hmm. so there's the six lies. So I, I want to just kind of briefly talk about these six lies before we go into there's purpose, passion, and um, uh, and priorities that they talk about in the, the book that I really want to make sure that we have some time to focus on. But everything matters equally, that's a lie because we need to focus on the, the most important things. Multitasking, being able to do more than one thing at once. How does that work for us? Fab, how does that work for you? Well, uh, I don't <laughs> think I'm that good at multitasking for what? We say multitasking is a multi, okay, let's say multitasking. -task uh -huh. It's not something easy. Um, I've discovered that it's not something that we can really do. If, every now and then we can listen to a podcast while we're doing some work around the house, mm -hmm. but more than likely it doesn't work that way. Okay. So we need to decide what is the one thing that we're putting our energy on and channel that energy to make it happen. Mm -hmm. And I think with those six lives, one thing that matters the most is that once you've established what you want to do, mm -hmm. and then you, yeah, you, you basically um, try and concentrate on those things. Yeah. Perfect. Good. Okay, go ahead and read this quote for us, Fab, about multitasking, because you, you nailed it as far as kind of multitasking is not really a good thing. It's not really a possibility here. Um, okay, I'll read. When you try to do two things at once, you either can't or won't do either well. If you think multi multi if you think multitasking is an effective way to get more done, you've got it backward. It's an effective way to get less done. As Steve Uzel said, multitasking is nearly the opportunity to screw up more than one thing at a time. <laughs> Good. Yep, so exactly what you're saying. Really, multitasking, it's a lie. We don't, you know, we, we can't do it effectively. It's not, it's not a good thing. We're just screwing up more things all, at a time. So the, the idea uh, is focus on the, the one thing and, you know, and do that well. Mm -hmm. uh, can you hear me? Yep, I can. Are you going to behave now? Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> I'll, I, I won't can't. mute you or turn off your video if you're going to behave. <laughs> All right, yes. go ahead, Radwan. <laughs> oh, guys, no hard feeling. I'm just, you know. Okay. So right. uh, I, I've heard very good thing in this book about multitasking. Mm -hmm. He said something very, very interesting about the uh, making phone call while driving. Uh, mm -hmm. He says uh, even in some countries, uh, it's 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 just like crime. It's just like drinking alcohol and driving. Mm -hmm. So, because you can't, you, you lose more than 60% of your focus by mm -hmm. doing this. 
So I think uh, it, it, it makes logic. It, it's logic. It, it makes mm-hmm. sense. Like you can you can drive while you just talking, and most of the women do this here in Jordan. I don't know about in the states, mm-hmm. but uh, from my uh, yeah from um, my experience every day in the road, like I see many women. Lo- you know, women love to talk, so they just keep the phone and they talk while they're driving, and the cars start going right or left, and they even though the women are well known for they can they can do they are multitasking by nature. Maybe mm-hmm. because the woman, the, the, uh, she's the one who raised up the kids, and she needs to be multi, uh, to be a, a multitask person. But otherwise, but still in driving, I mean, still mm-hmm. a bad idea. Yeah, it's it makes it difficult, and and I appreciate the research because you know, several years back they were saying, oh, multitasking. If you can improve on multitasking, then you'll be more successful. That's now right. research is showing that it's quite the opposite that the more you can focus on one task at a time the more the more you're going to be able to do that task well yeah so that's one of our big lies is multitasking um it's not it's not as as effective and not efficient so we need to kind of change that 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 mindset that multitasking is a good thing if you, there's no such thing as a good multitasker <laughs> <laughs> that's all right, right. Okay, a disciplined life, and they talk about kind of uh, that basically you just need more discipline, and that's not necessarily uh, necessarily the case. Uh, Radwan talked about the sixty day, sixty six days to form a habit, um, and and that's what they were showing is that research is showing that it takes about sixty six days to really establish a new habit. Um, Carmen, do you have your? Is it seem to be more, more working for you? I don't seem to be able to hear you, darn it. Well, um, Khalid? Yes. Hey, do you, can you read this quote for us? Yeah, a disciplined life. Success mm-hmm. is sequential, not simultaneous. No one actually has the discipline to acquire more than one powerful new habit at a time. Super successful people have used selective discipline to develop a few significant habits, one at a time, over time. Mm-hmm. Okay, so success is sequential. It's kind of one, one habit, one new habit at a time. It's not that we develop all these ha- new habits all at once, and then all of a sudden we're successful, right? Yeah. It's that it's one, one ha- new habit at a time. Um, what has been your experience with that, Khalid? Uh, I didn't get that, actually. Uh, if you try to explain it more, please tell me. Oh, okay. So, more, so what that's talking about is that, that no one has so much discipline that they're able to do, change everything at once, about, you know, yeah. change every bad habit all at once. That's why at the Pronunciation Pro course, I say take it one step at a time, one level at a time, one module at a time, build that skill, and then over time, you know, as you develop one new habit, then you can go to the next, and one new habit, go to the next, and then to the next, and yeah. because that's how the success, you know, success is sequential, it's one at a time, over time. Yeah, I do agree with you, and that's the right thing, actually, because when you concentrate on doing something, you get a good result mm-hmm. and uh, everything needs uh, much more interest from every uh, one of us mm-hmm. so um, to accomplish good results and to accomplish better uh, um, uh, results so you need to concentrate and you need to work hard on something and uh, to acquire a habit in order to uh, use it in the correct way mm-hmm. so you can uh, go to the next and next uh, to the other one and so on something mm-hmm. like that so i do agree with that mm-hmm. and it's probably how your career has gone right it's not that all of a sudden you've learned what you need to learn and you're up at the top of the, <laughs> the exactly that's what we're doing your career pro, mm-hmm. yeah pronunciation pro program and it's really something like that i understand also that you're working hard and the uh, system is 
perfect actually because it's well organized and i tried many many other uh, uh, programs but i didn't find uh, really the progress uh, that i found in your uh, system which means that uh, it's uh, well done really well so, thank you um, and we are going step by step i understand mm -hmm. that we need mm -hmm. to we need to practice we need the time to practice all of these things but you know we're all busy and mm -hmm. sometimes we miss things and then we try to uh, do something to just uh, catch up right <laughs> right yeah. and i have to tell you this i've been working on my program for eight years it didn't start it didn't start as what it is today <laughs> so yeah. Yeah. So that's that's the thing is that even my, even the way that I've created my program has been sequential like this. It's yeah. we start here and we see what works and what doesn't work and then we change one thing and we change another and you'll probably see me change it, you know, continue to yeah. change and develop as you uh, as you continue on with me because that's the process. That's yeah. that's what we do, right? I do I do one also, step at a time. Mhm. Mm I do expect more, expect more and more, really. And in the future, I think, uh, I think I already spoke to you um, earlier about uh, the the system that that uh, we pronounce words. What you call it, Rudin system? Oh, the Rudin phonetics. Mm -hmm. Phonetics, yeah. Phonics. And this is amazing, really. And if you, uh, it will be um, available for everyone. Uh, when it gets uh, published uh, and uh, uh, seen by everyone all around the world. <laughs> so, so one day it's going to be something really uh, interesting for everyone and uh, they will Google it like something uh, <laughs> uh, very, very important actually one day. Well, thank I, you, I Khalid. And Khalid is, is a good example of this, of not following this lie of big is bad. He thinks big, he wants, he sees, he sees things in a bigger picture. And I like that. Yeah. Um, I like that. It, uh, and just going along that, that, I, that concept of big is bad, uh, um, or that lie, I should say, of big is bad. In the, in the book, they talk about think big, think, you know, don't put limits on yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And when that's what you're doing. Yeah, and when it, they, it, from the book, it says, when you allow yourself to accept that big is about who you can become, you look at it differently. Because sometimes yeah, I yeah. think our, you know, our modesty oh, kind of makes us think, oh, I don't know that I can accomplish that, or I don't know if I'm you know, capable of that. But we have to stop that, right? We have to no. stop that thinking. Yeah, you have, yeah, the you have don't put limits on yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's when you, yeah. yeah, and when you, they, oh. it, from the, sorry, the, Audio kind of went crazy there. Sorry, continue. Uh, uh, you have the ability to do so, and we all agree about that. All and my colleagues or my friends, mm -hmm. I understand uh, that uh, when you explain something, uh, that if you ask me, how did I notice that? Sometimes I, I feel that I want to ask you a question when I watch a video, for example, for you explaining something. Okay, so I say, oh, um, I need to ask. Uh, Miss Annie about this in mm -hmm. the future and then you just answer the question I mean you answer my question without even contact you you understand you get my uh -huh. point which yeah. means which means you uh, you you had an experience with uh, many many others mm -hmm. that has brought this practice uh, available for, for us to to uh, answer all our questions actually and oh. well thank you thank you so much and Carmen, I just uh, saw your chat. I, so I have you unmuted, but it seems uh, you might have to. Here, go ahead and talk again. Let me see if I can hear. Can I hear Manila? Oh, yes. Hello, Carmen. Yay. <laughs> we got it working. How are you? Good. Okay, so what ha have you ever kind of look, asked this question to yourself? Do you know what your limits are? Okay. Have you ever asked that to yourself? Uh, hello, yes. Oh, hold on, sorry, Carmen, the... Now I'm not hearing you again. Darn it. <laughs> Carmen, you there? Go ahead and say something. Oh, I lost you. She's muted. Okay, I can... 
All right, I go can ahead, Sam. To that one yeah, then. go ahead. Um, regarding the big thinking, that is a very interesting one. I find that if we think big, it can help us to maximize our potential. Mm -hmm. Because we're not putting any limit onto ourselves. Mm -hmm. And therefore, if we can try and focus on the big thing that we would like to achieve in our lives mm -hmm. and work at maximizing it by uh, doing those things that it says in the book, it really helps. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Big thinking, yeah. And they give this idea of like, if you were told that you needed to put a limit on yourself, would you pick a low one or a high limit? <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, you would pick some, you know, something very, very high because you don't want to be limited. You don't want to be, um, I think that's our human nature. Nobody wants to be stopped in their progress. Nobody wants to say, no, that's enough. That's as far as you're going to go. Um, it's in our nature to say, no, what, you know, how can I push that limit? How can I be more? Um, we want to be the best that we can be. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I find that definitely applies to our pronunciation pro students because everyone's pushing and striving to be the best that they can be. Does anybody else have some thoughts on that? All right. Okay. Awesome. You guys are awesome. Um, all right, let's go, let's go into the concepts that we have here. He talks about extraordinary results. And that's driven by purpose, priority, and productivity. So with purpose here, who wants to read this for us? Sylvia, are you still there? Yes. You want to go ahead and read this one for us? Sure. Mm -hmm. Purpo uh, my, English, my pronunciation is there, but yeah, maybe you understand. Yep. Uh, pur purposes. Like, hold on, let me put my glasses. We all want to be happy, but seeking it isn't the best way to find it. The surest, surest path. So this one's the surest path. Or surest path to achieve less happiness happens when you make your life about something big. When you bring a meaning and, and purpose to your everyday actions. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's the purpose when we're talking about purpose it's making your life about something bigger when you bring meaning and purpose to your every then that's when we really bring meaning and purpose to our everyday actions okay um so i i want to propose this question what you know what what did you do or what are you doing to discover your purpose like what you know what is driving you what is what is that purpose and how did you kind of find that purpose for yourself in the direction that you're going in your life. Anybody have some thoughts on that? My purpose is to have peace and uh, I feel comfortable on my own skin. Like, oh. that. I, I want to feel, com I don't have to have worry in my mind. I want to be free of worries, free of, I want to feel happy inside. I, like, feel comfortable, like, um, don't want nothing to bother me. Oh, okay. All right. Um, anybody else? Fab, I can tell you want to say something. <laughs> <laughs> it took me years for me to find my purpose. Uh, I think it's it, it can be a journey if, no, if you're not sure about it. Mm -hmm. You search and you search and you read and you dig deep in, on the inside of you to try and think about what do I really want to achieve? And I, yes, we do things, but we want to do things that are meaningful, mm -hmm. things that will last, and things that we can leave a legacy behind us mm -hmm. long after we're gone. Mm -hmm. And uh, people will remember us about that, mm -hmm. not necessarily for us, but um, it's more to help others. Mm -hmm. That's the way I think that we find purpose in life, finding something that can help others, that can make a difference in society and impact probably the world. Mm -hmm. And we all have something like that on the inside of us. It's a, it's a question of discovering what it is. As for me, I've discovered mine 
and I'm working on mine. Mm-hmm. And so Good. this book is helping me. Yeah. And mm-hmm. yeah, this and book is helping me a little bit even more. <laughs> Good. Good. And it's, they talk about kind of the iceberg and the purpose is kind of the under, you know, the base of the iceberg of what's driving the things that we do, the one thing that we do. Khalid, I saw that you kind of had your hand raised. What did you have to add? I I think the most important thing in our life is just to build ourselves, to rebuild it. Because, you know, sometimes you learn from your parents. Uh, uh, Good thing. And I'm sorry to say, maybe you might learn bad things too mm-hmm. from people from the society and from your sometimes from the parents mm-hmm. so here you have to think rethink about yourself how mm-hmm. to rebuild yourself again mm-hmm. because you know i think it you're mature enough to know what's wrong and what's right mm-hmm. and then when you get to know that you have to restart thinking about how you rebuild yourself and here is the point from my point of view, mm-hmm. here is the point. How can you make yourself a better person and make the people around you also happy and make the, 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 the world happy? Mm-hmm. Uh, this is the main point. This is a goal, actually. This is a purpose in my life. Mm-hmm. I think I'm, I'm working on this, and it, I know it takes time. Mm-hmm. It takes a long time, same way you do with the program and the same way we were talking about the habits and the I always ask myself, am I doing this thing right? Mm -hmm. If it's not right, so stop there and rethink about it Mm -hmm. and do it the correct way. Do Mm -hmm. it the best way you can do. Mm -hmm. So uh, this is my perspective about it. I love that. And the, yeah, the purpose, and that's why at the big, when you start first started the pronunciation pro course, I don't know if any, if you guys remember, but I do send out an email that talks about what is your purpose. So let's, let's really establish what your purpose is in taking this course, because if that purpose is there, then there's that driving force of what, you know, of, of being able to be successful with this, because unless you have that purpose driving you, um, you know, you may not follow through with it. You may not, you know, succeed with that, that goal of improving your pronunciation and fluency. You have to have the purpose behind it, but why we're doing that. And Sonia, Sonia talked about how, um, Sonia talked about how, you know, her, she wants to understand more of what's going on in the world, you know, and, and have that broader understanding so that she, so she's working on her English. And I love that because you're, you know, you're looking at a bigger picture of why you're, why you're doing what you're doing. Yeah, I'm doing the same thing, actually. I'm in love with uh, English language. Mm. Uh, I feel one day I should achieve uh, a better result that might make me um, very easy to contact everyone and to communicate with uh, mm-hmm. English speakers. Uh, that's my goal, actually. And that's why we are here. Good. Good. Okay, um, Car- Carmen, I, I see something. that. You- oh, go ahead. Yeah, I have something to say. Like, yeah, red one. Uh, for the for the purpose thing, like uh, we can't. We are living a materialistic life, mm-hmm. and you know we are we have been drawn out of our out of energy in every day, and uh, with with the time passing, like if you compare yourself with your grandpa or grandma, you feel like it's been spiritual wise you feel like you are depleted of all the energy they used to have. Mm-hmm. And for, for the purpose, to, to have a purpose in your life, we need to be more spiritual. Uh, so I just advise the people to read something uh, out there, just like the, the things like the uh, talks about more on sp- focus on the spiritual power, because you can do things just to satisfy your needs uh, just to satisfy your physical or uh, other financial needs, and that's it. Uh, some of the guys here mentioned something about helping others, mm-hmm. and that's great. Like we have to drive our purpose from hi- higher thinking. Like we we, we uh, be more spiritual, less materialistic, and mm-hmm. this way we're gonna feel uh, fine, and the society and community would benefit as well. Our inner peace and everything would uh, sit in place. 
Excellent. Yeah. So, so if you go back to the beginning, that river that was being, you know, that my husband and my kids were kind of walking against that river, that's, that's kind of that materialism. That's that society. That's, you know, some of the things that are working against us that, um, that, that we have to kind of go inside and say, okay, what is my, what is my purpose? What do I want? What, you know, what is going to provide, bring the most fulfillment um, for me and for those around me? And how can I, you know, how can I align what, um, what I want and, and establish that so that I can be strong in the currents that are coming against me? Um, Cause like it, like you said, if we just kind of go with what the flow is, it's materialism, it's, you know, selfishness, it's, you know, all these things that kind of uh, work are, are the world kind of wants us to, to do, but we have to stand up and say, well, what, what is it that is going to be my purpose and what is going to drive me? And a lot of times that's kind of connecting with ourselves on a deeper level. level. What yeah. matters to me the most? Yeah. And what, what is meaningful to me? Yeah. And he talks about that is the talking about the kind of the regrets in life is that we, some of the regrets people were having were that they were doing what other people wanted them to do instead of what they felt was most significant and most, you know, most true to themselves. Um, so I like, yeah, exactly what you're saying there. Like right. leaving up to people's expectation. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. So then priority then comes next. So we have that iceberg and the, the purpose is the foundation that drives us. And then, then comes priority. Um, let's see, Carmen, I saw that you were kind of rearranging earphones and things. Did you get that working? I hope so. Can you hear Yay. Me? Yes, we can. Okay. Go ahead and read this one for us. Priority. Priority. Live with purpose and to know where you want to go. Live by priority and you'll know what to do to get there. Okay, so just like we were talking about, first first purpose and then priority. So I know that, you, you know, we, you've kind of been silent, but silently listening all along. Do you kind of have any thoughts about what we've been talking about and how it applies to you and what you have experienced? Um, basically, uh, the book uh, gave me kind of a wake-up call. Oh, okay. Uh, going back to finding your priorities, your real purpose. Mm -hmm. uh, more than one purpose, uh, but you have to uh, the most important things come first. And uh, mm -hmm. I find it kind of difficult uh, in real life to go through. Mm -hmm. Just because you have environment and uh, people are going to distract you by uh, following your um, your goals. So. Mm -hmm. I like how you said that it's like a wake up call. And I, I felt the same way when I first read it is thinking, okay, am I just going with the current or am I being purposeful about what I'm doing? And what I really like was um, that uh, exactly this book followed, um, uh, came uh, directly after the power of habit. Mm -hmm. It goes kind of in the same, in the same direction. Yeah, they did build off each other. So last month we had the power of habits and then this, this month we have the one thing. So it really did kind of build off each other. Uh, yeah, I think you're absolutely right. Okay, so then we have priority. It's kind of what is the one thing? So it's that, it's then going back to that focusing question, what is the one thing that if we do that, everything's gonna, else is gonna be kind of easier or unnecessary. So then that priority becomes, well, what is that one thing and taking that step? And then the next part, we talk about productivity. Um, productivity, yeah, Fab, do you have kind of some thoughts on that? Yeah, productivity is important because I think if we we are productive in that area in regards to that one thing that we would like to achieve, then we feel that life is really meaningful, that we're mm -hmm. doing what we meant to be doing. Mm -hmm. And even though there are other things that are not getting done, mm -hmm. yeah, because when we do the one thing, uh, we focus on that one thing, 
chances are that there are little things that don't get attended to. Mm -hmm. uh, they are they stay undone and that's the way it's meant to be uh, mm -hmm. because we only have 24 hours a day mm -hmm. and therefore we want to be productive in that particular area where we are doing it on purpose mm -hmm. so that way we can get the result in that area mm -hmm. and therefore our lives is uh, our lives just become so meaningful mm -hmm. But if we all over the place, that's when we miss out on things, I think. Mm -hmm. And we can end up with regret. Mm -hmm. But we focus on our one thing and it works. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Absolutely. And I like how he says it's more about, so it's about priorities, planning, and mm -hmm. fiercely protecting your time. <laughs> okay. Like you said, protecting you only have 24 time. hours. You got to fiercely protect that time. Fiercely protect it. And that's a big thing, protecting the time, because mm -hmm. there's one thing I personally use a calendar to make mm -hmm. me get things done. Mm -hmm. And I find that if somebody needs or give, give you, call you during the time that you're doing something, if you choose to pick up the phone, by the time you get back to what you were doing, it's over sometimes it's like that <laughs> yeah <laughs> so protecting your time being able to say yeah. no when you need to say no is a big thing yep and it's something that not only we do we learn uh we don't learn it once in life we mm -hmm. learn to apply it because there are people who matter to us mm -hmm. and therefore to say no to them we need to learn to say no how mm -hmm. do we say no and the book teaches us also how to say no mm -hmm. in a sense that so we can be productive. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And I find that's really interesting. Yeah. Yeah, I love that. That's so good. Um, yeah, we do need to say no uh, to something so that we can <laughs> focus on the one thing, the one thing that's important to us. And it's going to be different for everyone and it's going to take practice. How, how many of you who read this book are really good at the one thing now? <laughs> you guys, you guys figured it out. You guys got it all nailed down. Now, of, of course, it's going to take, it takes practice. It takes kind of remind, reminding uh, us. Yeah, go ahead, Radwan. Uh, uh, once in a time, like I, I've been just like uh, watching the, the YouTube mm -hmm. and uh, there, there was some video who's uh, which uh, was teaching uh, how to read a book in 10 minutes okay and that video it was for some popular guy uh the, the he got uh, been seen for uh, with more than half a million people and everybody was interested in the idea that i can read a book in 10 minutes he was saying something about reading the introduction and the summary and reading the first paragraph from each chapter and uh, some people were commenting down there, it's a bullshit, you can't do that. Uh, the book needs to be read from first to last, from mm -hmm. first sentence to the last sentence. And other people were really excited and they, they want to try it. Uh, he was taking this book as an example, the one thing. He was saying just like, he's saying there's only one thing and I can just read the summary at the end and I'm done. Mm -hmm. And now, after reading in this book, I'm really uh, um, understanding that he was wrong. You can't read a book by just reading the summary and the introduction, because it's going through this book, you can see this book is not is talking about one thing, but there is plenty of ideas inside. Mm -hmm. There's a lot inside. Even God. there's more and more to sail uh, in your mind, and everybody has got different understanding of the things we have all read and um, it's a lovely book you can't do mm -hmm. you can't say it's just one thing book it's a book with multi things yeah. that prioritize only one thing yeah yeah it's so interesting um it is a kind of book that i enjoyed reading over a long period of time because you'd read a section and then you'd kind of think and apply it to your life and kind of see how that fits into what you're doing or not doing and how you can kind of adjust that. And then you read another part and kind of adjust that. So if anything's going to be really applied, like we say, success is sub, uh, sequential. It kind of has to be built one idea at a time. And same with this book is those ideas can kind of be built 
one at a time as we think and focus and um, and give it the time that it needs. Not 10 minutes for the whole book. <laughs> it's a process, yes. Yeah. And we need to have goals. Mm -hmm. goals, uh, goal, goals are important. If we set goals, mm -hmm. we'll know when, when we get there. Mm -hmm. I think that can be helpful as well. Absolutely. Like a goal, for example, of doing something like, say, practicing something like pronunciation, uh, uh, maybe 10 minutes a day or 30 minutes a day, mm -hmm. and that can get us somewhere. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, having those goals, and we talks about those goals as dominoes, right? If you kind of set a goal and you kind of get that going, then it, the, the effect of that is that it does have this exponential effect um, as we go along. All right. Um, so in summary, and I hate, you know, I, I've loved this discussion, but in summary, um, let's kind of, kind of wrap up some of these ideas. At the end, he talks about at any moment in time, there can be only one thing. And then when that one thing is in line with our purpose, kind of the very base that we talked about, and it sits on top of our, pri atop our priorities, it will be the most productive thing you can do to launch you towards the best that you can be. Because we talked about that. We want to be the, you know, it's the best that we can be. We want, we don't want to have limits on ourselves. So let's align, really establish that purpose and take the time that it requires to establish that purpose. And then on top of that, have our priorities sitting there. Then we can be the most productive that we can be and, and launch us. I like that word launch because it's not just kind of casual. It's, it launches us to be the best that we can be. And isn't that what we want, right? That's right. <laughs> to be the best we can be. And that's what Pronunciation Pro students are so awesome because you guys are working and, and striving to be the best that you can be. And, uh, and with that purpose, of, purpose and goal of clear communication and what that's going to bring for you in the future. Awesome. So just kind of leaving you with the thought and maybe, maybe, uh, um, maybe have each of you say real quick, what's the one thing you're going to take and implement from this book? <laughs> what, what one thing have you kind of thought about it? Like, this is, this is one thing that I have uh, decided from reading this book that I'm going to do. Oh, uh, can I go? Yeah, go ahead. First of all, I'm really thankful for you. It's really a great idea, the, the book club. It's really great, great uh, big fun. I hope okay. that uh, the next book would be as interesting as this one. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to finish it. I just, uh, yeah. just pa passed the, f the half of the book. I'm going to finish the rest of it. Mm -hmm. uh, the second thing, I'm really glad that I got this company, very nice guys. And uh, I hope for them a very nice uh, uh, day for the rest of the day or the night. Mm -hmm. And uh, for the one thing I just got from this book, I'm, as I told you, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start jogging every morning after mm -hmm. the prayers, like uh, 5 a.m. or 5 and a half, 6 a.m. till 7 a.m. And this one thing, if I just uh, can do it every day, it will have become habit after six, six, 60, 6 days. And this would help me to keep my fitness uh, up to my expectations, uh, even though I'm running a busy life uh, during mm -hmm. the day. Um, Perfect. Really, really thankful for this uh, nice meeting. Good, good, Radwan. I love it. All right, Sonia. Sonia, I know that you didn't quite, uh, the book wasn't, you just got the book, so you're kind of leading into yeah. it. But from this discussion, kind of what's one thing that you've kind of taken from this discussion that you feel like will be helpful for you? I feel it was good to hear this because now I know a little about the book and I can read it better. Good, good. So that's good. Good. That's helpful. Awesome. Yep. So now you kind of have a framework and that mindset that you can go into and, and think about as you go through the book. Yeah. Okay. Excellent. Good. Okay. Fab, how about you? What's your one thing that you're going to implement? Um, I'm a person who's already got like my calendar and I found my purpose in life. Mm -hmm. And it's just that uh, the one thing uh, helps me to know that yes, a person can think big mm -hmm. and yes, 
they can achieve their purpose in life. Mm -hmm. And I like the the side, while I'm a a goal setter, Mm -hmm. it's helped me to look into the way to set up goals properly. Like to to look at it from five years to one year, Mm -hmm. and then to one month, and then to uh, one week, and then to one day. Mm -hmm. And one thing that touched me the most was like, uh, um, the way in the morning you set up your, you organize your day. Mm -hmm. Do the one thing first, and then you do your other thing. Perfect. Because sometimes, like, if you don't do that one thing, by the time you're thinking of doing the other things, you, that one thing, you don't have the energy. Yes. That willpower is limited. So use it. Use it for the one thing that you want to do at the beginning of the day. Yeah. Focus on that one thing first and yeah. get it out of the way. Perfect. That's one thing I'm going to apply. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you. Okay, Sylvia. I know this is a kind of a new book and new concept for you. What's your, what one thing have you kind of taken from today that you feel like you can kind of use? I think in life, we, the first thing you should focus on in our health, because if you don't have your health, what else you can have nothing. Mm-hmm. Then I'm going to try to eat better to have a good health. And uh, I'm going to declutter my house because I have to <laughs> have a discipline. So... Um, Perfect. Okay. So we're focusing on your health and decluttering it. I like it. I yes. like it. Yeah. And they, the one, one concept we're going to talk about is he talks about that you have five areas, five balls that you're always juggling and there's, there's health, there's family, there's work and um, there's a number of different, different ones. They said all of them are glass balls except the work one. So you, you got to protect the health. You got to protect the family. You got to protect, you know, some of these, your, some of these other what, things. And if the work one drops every once in a while, that's okay. It bounces back and you can, <laughs> you can keep juggling. So and then it's not it's too much important to things like people get worried about every little thing. They get angry. They get this. Just don't, get too much important to think that's not so yeah. just focus on in the the thing that is important that uh, is good for you good for the other yeah exactly good okay carmen how about you uh, well um the most important thing i've um got from this book is i want to figure out what my most important long-term one thing is Mm. I want to find ways to cut it down in uh, shorter term one things. Um, Mm -hmm. Probably starting with finding an application for my iPhone and my iPad to limit uh, email uh, application time, for instance. Okay, good. So it's, yeah, beginning with the end in sight, <clears throat> kind of having that long-term goal and then backing it up. That's what I like in this book. And it gives you a very clear framework as to how to do that. So, so Carmen, you're going to kind of sit back and think, what are my bigger long-term goals? And then how does that backtrack to what I'm going to do right now? <laughs> okay, I love it. All right. Um, let's see. We have, sorry, um, Khalid. Yeah, I really uh, enjoyed the time with you. Um, the, thank you for that. Uh, in regards to your question, the one thing, we, we think uh, from our perspective that if we have only one thing in our life, it might be uh, a little difficult. The writer has shown us good things and many things to follow in our life in order to achieve or to get uh, what we're looking for. But if you just compare it with daily uh, circumstances, I think the one thing should be, uh, we should focus uh, on one thing that is related to the situation or the circumstances. Let me just explain Mm -hmm. this. For example, okay, if you just decided as a one thing to be a doctor and you don't have the money, then, then the one thing what will benefit in this case? Mm-hmm. So it will be a dream, and then you dream of it every day, and you will not achieve nothing. So mm-hmm. the one thing from my point of view, 
is to be based on, on your circumstances, mm -hmm. okay? And you choose at that time the possibility how to act and how to adapt with the new situation and circumstances. Mm -hmm. And you should have the priority and the productivity and so on. You just use all what you've learned, mm -hmm. but compared or that it is uh, uh, possible to be done with a situation or the circumstances that you are just facing. Mm -hmm. In uh, general, I can say, if you ask me what is your one thing then in your life, I just answer, learn and read books. Okay. And if you, allow, if you allow me to recommend a book, uh, I'll be also more than happy. Okay, what, what book? The book is The Seven uh, Decisions for uh, Andy, Andy Ando. I the like this book. Seven Decisions for what? Yes, for Andy Andrews. Andy, Andy. Andrews. Yes, yes. Okay, I I'll think... have to look that one up. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. You. I got it. love it. All right, good. And Dragos, I know that I've kind of been unmuting you and you've been here and sometimes gone, so I just want to check in to see if you are here. Mm, no, okay. All right. Okay, so I challenge you all to keep that one thing in mind, kind of think, what is that, what one thing can I, this one thing that you shared with me today, what, what are you going to do and kind of set up those goals kind of long, short term with that, with that end in sight and kind of looking short term of what can I do right now to accomplish um, what I'm going for um, in that, with that purpose driving you, okay? Um, and as I, as I went through this, my one, my one thing, there's, there, there are several one things like uh, Fab was talking about. There's kind of several one things that I've established and wrote those down and um, that we're, I'll be working, working through myself. One thing with Pronunciation Pro, one thing with my family, one thing with my health, one thing with, <laughs> it seems like I, I can't really decide on one thing apparently. <laughs> but, uh, but I think that that's the case is that, that uh, we have all these one, you know, one things, but, uh, but choosing what's most important, establishing that habit first, okay? All right, thank you so much everyone for coming. My one thing today was you guys, and I'm glad that you were here and that you, we were able to have such a great discussion about this, I appreciate it. All right, so all of you have a wonderful rest of the week and weekend, and um, we'll talk soon, I'm sure. <laughs> thank all right. you. Bye everyone. Bye.